Yo, and welcome back to Gorilla Studios. Today, we are gonna be talking about something just behind me, the Tascam MSR16 tape machine. That's right. Tape machine. As always, I'm with the expert over here. This is Paul, the guy that runs Gorilla Studios. We're gonna do a deep dive into the tape machine, talk about how it works. We're also gonna talk about how it works in relation to the Tascam M3700, which we previously discussed. You can find in things that are above us, hopefully. And we're also gonna be talking about uh, how it works in the digital versus analog debate. So stick around, you just might learn something. We're here. Uh, we're gonna go over the Tascam MSR16 in a little bit more detail. So, Paul, talk to us a little bit about how this all works. Uh, so essentially, the uh, real to real machine, think of it as um, if you're younger, you're used to your digital audio workstation, this is basically uh, the older version of your digital audio workstation. Or your digital audio workstation was derived from everything that we used to do with reel-to-reel -reel machines. So the basics. So the basics are the recording medium that we're recording to is magnetic tape. Uh, so this is the tape transport. Effectively, it transports the reel from one or the tape from one reel to another, mm -hmm. and it pulls it across these uh, heads here. So you've got an erase head and then a combined uh, uh, play and uh, reproduction head. So that is actually the same as what you would see on your uh, digital audio workstation when you're moving your playhead across your sound waves. Uh, it's actually represented by a little triangle thing, which is why it's that shape, is because it represents the... Uh, oh, the, the triangle there. The reproduction head on, nice. the, uh, on the tape machine. So, tape is in contact with the heads, and when you press play, it pulls the tape across the uh, the playhead and plays your audio. All right, so we've got some tape rolling here, Paul, and I'm seeing a lot of lights flashing up. What's what's kind of going on down there? That's right. So these are your levels for each of the individual channels. So this being the Tascam MSR16, there are of course 16, uh, 16 channels, so you can record simultaneously 16 different. Uh, inputs or microphones, if you will, um, and you can arm and disarm these channels individually. So uh, if you've made a mistake uh, just on one of the channels, you don't have to record the, the entire song again. You can just go back and go over the um, the mistake just on that track if you'd like. Got it, got it. And you can control the play, forward, stop, all that kind of stuff down here. Yep, so these are your transport controls. So you've got your rewind, your stop, your forward, your play and record. Of course, to record, you actually have to press and hold record while, and, then, and then press play. Like my mum's old video player. Exactly like that, Because yeah. <laughs> it is basically the, the same sort of... Uh, doing the same thing. Yeah, the and same what thing. about these controls? Where the, what, what's that clock and all, all that around there? So the clock, uh, you set the clock when you first uh, put the spool uh, on the machine, so you'd set that at, at zero, uh, and the, that just gives you a reference of where you're up to on the song. So we can uh, save some things in the memory here. So if we want to go uh, back to around the 16 minute mark, I think I saved that in the memory earlier. If I press locate one, it'll go back to uh, that point on the clock. So that could be the start of a song. It could be a bit that you're working on. Exactly, yeah. yeah. All right, so what else have we got down here, Paul? I can see a couple of other little buttons, edit, spool. Uh, yeah, what, are so we, what are we doing there? We've got lots of other features on here. I won't go into great depth with these because some of them are specific just to this uh, machine. Um, but as far as analog recording goes, uh, one of the features that you're likely to use would be the edit feature. So um, this would be if we've uh, found a mistake, like a bomb note, or if there was perhaps like a snare hit that we wanted to erase, we can do very fine edits. So if we play the track, so you can hear the snare coming on there, I think it was on channel four. If we press the edit button, we can now manually move the tape until we hear there is the snare hit. So if you wanted to erase that particular snare hit for some reason, uh, we could now arm the uh, track four, uh, hit play and record, and just rock the tape back and forth over that hit, and it would erase it. But I'm not going to do that on this particular mix because we quite like to keep that. So if I wanted to, if we were say adding a different effect to something, let's say we're uh, 
changing out a, a keyboard sound for something else, you could do that in much the same way, right? Yeah, you could we can do record very, over. We can do very fine erases uh, and even just punch in the very uh, very short parts of the of the of the song. So yeah, Amazing. it's pretty much the same as how you would do it in your digital audio workstation. Only it takes a little bit longer because you can't just pick it on the uh, on the waveform. Yeah. yeah, and if you've if you've got a two parts. Uh, or like a, a section of a song that you want to hear, you can bounce it between those two parts. So if we uh, play it from 16.10 to, let's say, 16.25. So we can save 16.25 as a memory two. And if we press repeat one and two, it will go between uh, the start memory one, which was 16.10, and up to 16.25. And it will just repeat that process so we can hear that same piece of track over and over again. That's particularly useful if you are mixing uh, toms on drums because I see. they're not playing the toms all the time. So when they are, that section of the song, you can just completely have it repeating over and over again. Just and like you can in Digital Audio Workstation. Of course. And if you're listening, often as a guitarist, we, we think we hear things on a track and, and we often ask the engineer, can you keep playing that thing back so I can make sure that it was a flub? Or exactly. Or you can yeah. do the same kind of thing here. So you can see it'll just sit here bouncing between those two points of the song until we stop it. And I, I've often um, read about bands like Metallica and things like that, you know, literally having to splice tape with, you know, razor blades and stuff. Like, w what's all that That's about correct. and, and why would you do that? We also have a splicing block and some razor blades. Um, essentially, that would be for if you've done two takes of a song and you like the first half of the first take and the second half of the second tape, uh, we could splice them together. So we'd literally uh, take the tape from the machine, put it in a splicing block, chop it and uh, stick it together again. So there we are, the Tascam MSR16 reel-to-reel -reel recording machine. So next time we are going to be talking through this whole process start to end, isn't that right? Yep, we'll take you through step by step uh, recording uh, some guitar or some drums or something like that. We'll go through the whole process uh, of recording through the console onto the tape machine and then mixing down. And it's going to sound absolutely mega. So stick around for that. Like, follow, subscribe, all that usual nonsense, and goodbye from me. Goodbye from him.